check it. Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Janelle Samora and this is Scent Talk from my closet, the fragrance closet. And on this channel, we go over all things fragrance. And in today's video, we're doing something a little different. I want to bring to you guys a little informative video on how to travel with your fragrances. I know that I talk about, oh, I went there and I traveled with this. And then we're always talking about layered combos on the video as well. If it is your first time watching, I do like to focus on one perfume or topic at a time. And as of late, uh, we've been doing quite a bit of combos as well. And I like to just explore fragrances and share my reviews and my thoughts on fragrances with my subscribers. So if that is something you're interested in, go ahead and continue watching. Consider hitting that subscription button and the bell so you'll be notified to new videos because you never know which fragrance house or perfume topic we're going to cover next. So this is a perfume topic for certain. We have some holidays coming up, lots of traveling for a lot of people, um, you know, in these coming months. Also, we have summer travel as well. I, for one, and my family, this year was, past couple of years have been a little less travel to the island, but we definitely did get some island time in. Um, and I needed to decant my fragrances. So on the channel, sometimes it, you'll hear me talk about decanting or travel sprays or this or that so I want to show you guys the different tools that I use to be able to um, you know extract the fragrances from my bottles the different methods that there are and you do have to change your method for the different type of sprayers and you know and whatnot so I, I do want to show you guys I wanted it to be a more point of view type video but unfortunately I just don't have the setup or the room in this closet uh, to be able to do that so hopefully the video will still be informative and useful and you guys will get something out of it and hang out with me for a little bit okay I have really no basic structure so I'm hoping I am just hoping to be very productive in this video for you guys I really am um I almost wanted to do it live you know like just so you guys could be commenting and whatnot I just I I just don't know how to do that yet I'm not very tech savvy but let's get right into it. I want to show you guys, um, you know, how to travel with your fragrances. This has been my go-to little travel companion. I got it at Marshall's. Yeah, Marshall's. And it's just, it's so, it fits so many things. And I have taken it on the airplane with me. Only been on an, oops, only been on an airplane twice in my life. And all of a sudden, I am just, you know, <laughs> just some sort of uh, airplane packer master. I am not, but um, let me show you guys. Okay, first things first, um, supplies. We need quite a bit of supplies when you wanna be uh, messing with your fragrances, okay? Um, on the channel, I do like to talk about layered combos. And so when that's the one of the very first things I think about when I'm packaging my, um, my fragrances are, I want to take a versatile lotion, something that's going to jive with a few fragrances. Uh, normally, it all depends on how many days you're going to be away and all that good stuff, but um, normally do a lotion. So for my base, a couple of lotions, and these are really, really useful, the little tubs. So this is one of the things, and they normally come in the little travel bags. You can find them at Marshalls or Ross, like I said. They normally come with some, and they also have labels, which is really nice. Um, so I'll do my body lotion that's going to complement my fragrances. I usually do two to three different lotions. Um, and if I, I just label them just generically because I know what they smell like. I know exactly what they are. This is Pear Glacé by Victoria's Secret. <laughs> oh, delicious. Okay, so first things first, you need the little reservoirs for your lotion. Second, you need however you would like to package your scent. I think the safest route, honestly, is plastic. That This is plastic. It's not going to... These are really, really secure and, and safe. The plastic little... Um, look at this. They come in packs of 150. You can find them on Amazon. I will link as much as I can in the description. I do not earn any type of commission. I don't know if I'm repeating myself. Um, you know, we're not there yet. I don't have any type of affiliate links or whatnot. Um, I haven't looked into business avenues and whatnot, but I just want to make this informational and put this out to you guys so that you'll be aware uh, for all my amazing subscribers. So 
three ml little decant uh you know portable you can put anything you want in here you could put mouthwash hand lotion hand sanitizer you could put lotion but it might clog i said lotion it might clog the little the little hole um but anyways three mls i love this size i like the two ml as well but it's a little harder to 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 spray i like this one because it's a little bit longer um you know so basically that's your plastic they also come in glass your your little decants okay so there's so many different sizes and options i'm dropping it this is glass so this is your 2 ml and your 5 ml glass so these sprayers if you do not like plastic and and also they do evaporate um in the plastic for whatever reason if you're going to have your fragrance in plastic for an extended period of, of time i don't recommend it they do evaporate in here um you know a little bit faster than they do in the glass little vials so the glass little vials though you do have to secure these i have had it open up not in my purse it opened up in my backpack i believe one time i was like ah so these are a little trickier I totally feel like the plastic ones are more secure. Um, and then these also have a little trick to them. You do have to secure them with plumber's tape. So I got my plumber's tape right here. You can find it in white or blue um, or whatever color you'd like and different consistencies, you know, or strengths and whatnot. But I mean, we're not wrapping up pipes here. We're just, we're just putting it around our decant. So we open it up uh our little plumber's tape this is the way i do it wrap it around right here you want to pull it taut a little bit and wrap it around so you want to get it really secure you see how i'm pulling ah, it, okay <laughs> great it's on there i normally cut it off with you know i don't pull it off but i cut it with some scissors i cut it off with some scissors and we're good but that one just kind of came off all right, so now that we have the little, um, the neck of the bottle secured with plumber's tape, you know, you do your, your decant and you can secure it right there and that should help it avoid spilling. Um, I'm not saying it's a 100% because I have had fragrances spill that are in these type of decants. Just saying. Um, so that's gl your glass. You're going to need your plumber's tape. Now, if you're traveling on a plane, though, and you have your little glass decant, I do highly recommend getting parafilm. So I got this type, but there is they sell different types on Amazon. It's already running out, actually. Um, so this is parafilm. What it is, is it's really, they use this for gardening, I believe, and for science. <laughs> I looked it up. Um, so parafilm, you, around the neck of the butt where you screwed it on, you wrap it around, you pull it. So you pull it, this kind of waxy a little bit. You pull it all the way around so you can secure and make it waterproof just in case and help prevent further, any further damage. I mean damage leakage <laughs> so it's not very um pretty if you will it's not very pretty but then i'll go around again with the plumber's tape on the outside this is also how when i um when i send winnings when i send to the subscribers samples and whatnot this is how i do it for you guys because um i lost my scissors <laughs> I lost it. We're already not going to plan here. Well, let me just pull it. I don't know where my scissors are. Oh, I found them. I found them. <laughs> I should have gotten a better setup. Uh, anyways, just cut that off right there. There we go. All right. So this is how I secure a decant liquid in a, a glass container. So there's your glass. There's your plastic. They do come the plastic does come separate like this you put it in there and i like to keep i like to snap it down with the lid on so that it doesn't so i hold it like this and snap it on so that it doesn't um, if you try to snap it on without the lid you're going to spray it <laughs> so i like to snap it on with make sure that the lid is on um i first thought that these were not refillable that's a lie yes they are 
I'll get one that's already pre-made here. This is a decant of Dossier's uh, Ambry Saffron. I love to combine this with Ariana Grande's Ariana Grande's Adi. <laughs> I love to combine these two. It's so fresh, delicious uh, for the summer. I love that scent. It just reminds me of the summer because I used it primarily in one summer. So I have scent memories attached to it. So you can definitely open this up and refill it in case it you need to, in case it so you you get your thumb and you pop it open. Okay, right there. Did you hear that? So you pop it open and be careful if it has, well, you're going to refill it. So mm, Ambry Saffron. This is really nice from Dossier. You don't have to purchase the Baccarat Rouge 540 in order to get the same scent. It's really nice. I do like Dossier's version. This is actually the Audi that I do need to refill so we can pop it open and I will refill it right now. I'm just uh, getting through kind of the reservoirs we have to fill. So we have the small glass decant, we have the plastic ones, then we have the little fancier ones. So this is the one that I really love to travel with as well. It is glass, but it's heavy glass. And they come in packs of six with different uh, color tops. They have silver, gold, and, and black, and um, they're really secure. I do put the plumber's tape around the neck just in case, but I have not had an issue with spillage, with leakage at all. Um, so that's one of my favorites. This is a 10 ml, I believe, and it's so compact, beautiful. Now, my next favorite is, um, I carry my Escapade Gourmand. I have it up here in my purse with this. I love these. I like, they're very, very reasonably priced. Um, so you refill these like this. They're three, they're three parts. So you open that up and this is your, this is where you're going to put your, your fragrance. See that? You, I would do the plumber's tape around this neck of this bottle as well. So you put your fragrance in there and you are set. I carry this. That was it. I'm about to drop everything. Um, I carry this in my purse, you guys, and I've had it for a while. Oh, sorry. Ever since I got Escapade Gourmand, actually, because that is such a heavy bottle. Um, of course, I'm not going to carry that in my purse, and I love this scent. So I've had this for a while in there. Mason Mataha's Escapade Gourmand. You can label them if you'd like. Really interesting. Ooh, I already need to refill it. So you see, I have it with my plumber's tape because you never know. I mean, you really, oh, that's a little wet right there, actually. I have not had a spill in my purse with this whatsoever. I'm really happy with, with the performance of this. Um, and I have sometimes found it laying down like this and I'm like, no, <laughs> you know? All right. So normally I'll carry the three ML of anything, but I just feel like, it's Mason Mataha's Escapade Gourmand. It needs to have some, you know, it needs to be in glass. Don't, don't ask me why. <laughs> All right, next one. Um, I don't have 100% full faith in this. I just don't. This is, this one, you fill it from the bottom. I've never had a spill. I do have one that I gifted to my daughter that has a uh, Labelle Le Parfum in it. And these are so easy to fill because you literally uh, grab... I uh, want one that I've already done. Let me see. Oh, yeah. This is what I refilled my daughter's with. So she loves the Bella Parfum. It's one of her... Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't even see you. Tell you. Okay. You have to take the cap off. And then your little nozzle here, you refill it like this by pumping it. So you cannot fill it 100 all the way or else it will spill out of the reservoir as well. So... Um, yeah, these, these are iffy for me, but she hasn't had a problem with it spilling in her purse. Then you just put your little cap back on. So that's uh, that's LaBelle right there and, and this lovely contraption. So um, I have heard and I've read reviews that these do leak eventually. There's something about the, the vacuum that's in here. Um, so I'm afraid. <laughs> but if you have had success with these, awesome. Or if you know about them power to you. Um, my daughter's hasn't spilled the, in her purse yet. <laughs> I just, you know, you just want to be careful. Okay. Um, if you want to get a little sturdier, a little heavier, fancier with your, your, uh, decant here, 
you have your twist ups as well. Now these are a little more expensive, um, but they're worth it. These, if you want more volume. So these are 10 mLs. Lots of, of fragrance you can put in here. And it's just like the subscription services or the travel sprays that you can get. Um, here I have one from Royalty Scents. I believe these are 8 mLs though. So these are just like your subscription service uh, travel sprays. Now, I really do like this, um, but I've never gone anywhere where I've needed a 10 ml per se. And I like to take different scents with me. Um, you know, and this is just so much bigger than my little compact 5 ml, you see? I like, I like more compact things. And it's even bigger. This is also 10 ml. So you see, I like, I like this more compact size. Personal taste, personal taste. <laughs> now, um, okay, that was it for the reservoirs I think that we have, like the, the travel sprays that, that we have, that I have currently. So here's the deal. How do we get the liquid in here <laughs> and then package it up and, and ready to go? We need funnel. We need a funnel. This is one way. Another way is the little extension sprayer. This is another way, and we will do that right now. And um, pipette. Let's say you have a fragrance such as Love by Killian, and you just want to take a little bit out of here and put it in. You see, you unscrew it here. You just get a pipette and a clean one, by the way. They sell them in huge bags. <laughs> Not that I'm ever going to need this many. Oh, 200 pieces of pipettes, and I think it's like $7.99. So you grab, you grab your pipette, and you extract the liquid and put it in whatever, you know, other reservoir you want to put it into. Container. Okay. Now, let's go ahead and show you guys how. Um, let me refill here my, um, my uh, Audi by... Ariana Grande. Ariana Grande. Where are you? Okay, here we go. I have this big old bottle <laughs> and I have my little, my little lovely thing here and I'm going to refill with this, the extension one. Okay, so I'm going to open it up. Open it up. I'm going to take the lid off. I'm going to take the sprayer cap off. Now some of them um, are really flimsy and you can squish them and make them, you know, misshape them. But this one's not. This one's good. Got the little cap off. Now I'm going to put my extension spray on top. Hold it. And kind of tilt it like this. And spray. So I'm spraying my perfume into my little container. Now what I like to do so I don't waste any at all <laughs> is I like to put it because there's still the little line is still completely full. So I like to get it like this and turn it over. <laughs> I don't know. Just I don't like to be wasteful at all. Um, so let's say that I filled that up. That is how you do that. And then you just. All right. You're ready to go. You have refilled your little plastic most secure decant i feel i really like those i just dropped one <laughs> so that is how you do the plastic sp uh, sprayer refill types okay so um let's do i have cloud somewhere where do i put you i have ariana's cloud here and i was actually going to put it in there but i dropped it I want to show you guys one more. Sometimes when you order these little containers, they will come with, um, you know, a refilling decanting supplies. I got this little short one with, I don't know what I ordered. And I was like, oh, that's cute. <laughs> so it'll depend. You'll either get the really long uh, little snout, I call it, or stick a pipette looking thing or you'll get a little short one the short ones work just as well I'm gonna go ahead and put this in in this empty one so this is uh, Ariana Grande's I say Ariana it's Ariana um, right here Ariana Grande's cloud so I'm gonna take that off just like I did the Audi and put this on 
See that? Super simple, this route. And then just spray it in there. Okay, not too much that we're gonna lose if we if we do spill it, but I like to turn them over and just. <laughs> All right, so that was it there. Now we got cloud in here. Okay, and we're done. So that's that. Now, if you wanted to do that, you know, it's the same concept for your. I know we wrapped you up, but it's the same concept, you guys. I don't know why I want to show you for the um for the glass containers you're just going to spray your liquid in there you're going to spray your liquid in there let me take this off you're going to spray your liquid in there just like i just did in the plastic one in there that's all you're going to do um and it'll work magnificent magnificently <laughs> Um, so that's my Audi Cloud, you guys. Very, very nice. We decanted that. Um, so those are the two little sprayer things. Now, let's say you don't want to run the risk of, um, hurting your, let me get my princess here. This is my princess. Um, you don't want to run the risk of damaging your sprayer cap. You're like, I don't want to mess with that. You know, that's not my... That's not my jam. I would like to instead do a funnel. I do have, um, let's see right here. I do have Princess in one of these things. No, that's Black Phantom. You guys, oh, there she is. <laughs> I have Princess in here. This is how I like to use my Princess at, at home or, you know, to spray it. So this is by Killian, lovely. These are so awesome. They're refillable as well. So I'm going to unscrew it. And let's say I don't want to mess with the cap. I don't want to bother it. I don't want to I don't want to hurt it. I got a funnel. <laughs> funnels. They sell them on Amazon as well. Look at that. Lots of funnels that we've already used. Now, uh, these are one and done's, okay? These plastic, I know it seems a little wasteful, but you don't want to leave them laying around, um, you know, growing bacteria. You you don't want to get them confused and, and ruin the molecules of your fragrance. So that's why they're one and done's. You, you use your little funnel, you discard it. So here is my um, princess. And I want to spray it in there. Super simple. Spraying it into my travel thing. <laughs> Why can't I speak English today? Into my travel spray, you guys. So that's my I don't need a princess refill. Very nice. I ooh, that smelled amazing. I love. I love Princess by Killian. This is one of my favorites. So um, same concept, of course, for the glass container. And you can also do it for, let's say I wanted to put, um, hold on. <laughs> let's say I wanted to put Princess in here. I would just put it and spray it right into the glass container. You could also do that for your travel sprays I showed you guys earlier. Um, I didn't open this one for you or yes I did you see you can put the funnel in there you can use any of the tools there's one tool I have not shown you and I'll show you right now okay so that's that now um, Killian actually has its own little refill system which I find to be amazing um, they sell their refills here you only have to buy one bottle for the life of your fragrance and you just refill it with with the with the refill um, container so you open up your fragrance you don't even have to open this bottle you put that bottle in there and you twist it you twist it and then it refills your fragrance um, and it'll stop when it needs to stop at the fill level so that's really interesting um, concept here that by Killian has. I want to say uh, my way, uh, Armani. Armani has the same refill system as well, I've noticed. Very, very nice, you guys. Very nice. So um, here, where did I put my dossier? Okay, here's my dossier. Let me show you really quick this other method, and it is by syringe. Okay. 
man, we are just going with the different methods. <laughs> um, because, I mean, it's up to you guys exactly how you want to do things. So I had to, this little opening was not big enough. So I had to heat this up and then put um, something in there, my scissors actually, and open up the whole of the syringe. They also sell a little adapter, which works wonders, but I already, I don't have uh, mine anymore. So I opened up the cap, put in my, um, what is it called? My syringe and then just right there so i have my fragrance this is dossiers ambry saffron and i'm going to put it in right there just drop it in and i have my fragrance refilled this one was actually already full so i triple filled it <laughs> i triple filled it it's super super full now okay that's that. I wanted to show you guys how to utilize a syringe. Okay, good. I think those are all the methods that I normally utilize. Yes. Um, okay, so now I want to talk to you guys. How do I take my body splash? Super simple. I actually just spray it into here. Um, now that takes a lot of spraying. So what I did for this actually is I did the syringe method with my strawberries um, and champagne because I was there spraying into the funnel. I was like, okay, this is taking forever. <laughs> so, um, cause you can't unscrew the Victoria's Secret sprays, unfortunately. All right. That was that. We got the funnel. We got the syringe, the different ways. Okay. If you are not a fan of dabbers. Dabbers um, do not allow me to experience a fragrance, um, you know, the top notes and all that. And I'm talking about alcohol-based fragrances. The oil-based fragrances, I can get away with, like, for example, this one. Cardigan by Poesy. I can dab this one almost no problem. Um, it gives me great, great uh, smell and all of that because they're oil-based. But your eau de parfums, for me, to me, are meant to be sprayed. So when I get a sample, for example, like this in a dabber, I don't like to dab my fragrances on. I have here Masorali Vanilla, and I want to throw that into a, um, what is it called? Into one of these. So let's go ahead and get one. So we have our plastic little sprayer here. Well, we already set up the this one. This is a 3ml, by the way. No, that's going to be too big. <laughs> this is too big also. It's all good. Let me show you guys what I do. I want a 2ml. <laughs> I'm going to cry. Okay. This little tab, this little lovely thing, I like to peel it off. So you can either do it with your nails or if it's like too, too much, it's too um stuck on there i get a knife this is my box cutter but i like the exacto knives better you just get your blade right in between um you get your blade i don't want to cut myself hold on <laughs> let's not cut ourselves please let's get our blade right in here oh this one's kind of hard you guys Okay, once I get my blade in between the little, then I turn it over. You really can't see, can you? I'm sorry. And now that I have a little flap is what I'm getting at, I can open it. So they're really stuck on there, but I can open it and hopefully not tear it because that wouldn't be ideal because we're trying to. We're trying to get it a label on here. <laughs> and it did tear. Oh my gosh. Okay. No, we're fine. We're going to take it off. We're going to peel it off. Oh, there we go. Kind of. All right. Leave it to this one to not be a clean break. Ugh. Okay. So we got our label off. I got my label off of my... Masarali 
I'm just going to stick it there for now. I'm going to open my dabber that I cannot stand because I just cannot stand dabbers. Okay, open my dabber. Oh my gosh, that smells so good. It smells so good already. It's supposed to smell like Vanier West Indies. I'm going to do a side to side comparison. Check it out. There you go. Throw that right on in there. Just get everything out of this dabber. Dab the rest on you. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is going to smell so good. I know it. Oh my gosh, okay. So, where is it? Cover that up. And last but not least, add here my label. Now, these are paper labels with ink. So, if you get your fragrance on them, there it's going to um it's going to be bad business you guys so this is what i like to do it's going to take the name clear off of it so what i like to do is i like to grab a little tape and cut it because if you use it's too thick the tape and when you wrap it around it crinkles and it gives me i don't like crinkled labels <laughs> so i cut my little tape in half here put it on the name as long as it covers the name, I really don't care about anything else. Put it on the name, and now you have a waterproof, you've laminated your label. And that is how I make my little, um, here's my, my little samples from dabbers, okay? I mean, I know it might be, might seem like a lot of work to some people, um, but to me, it's worth it when I'm testing out my fragrance, my fragrances, especially if they're very expensive niche fragrances. How am I going to tell what they smell like if I'm dabbing them all over the place? I want to spray them. <laughs> I want to spray them. Um, you know, spray it on my clothes, spray it on my wrists, everything. So that is it right there, how I do that. Now, last thing, because we've been here a while. Um, if you're still watching, awesome. Then you're really interested in this topic. <laughs> so this is how I package my decants when I'm ready to go put them away to take off on, on my trip. So um, I, I use Mylar bags, have different colors, styles, whatever. Um, I like them because let's say that you do get a spill they're secured in here this is actually one of my uh recent travels it was a short little stint to the island i believe so all right first things first if it's glass especially i like to put it in its own little baggie so that if it spills it doesn't get the fragrance on the other fragrances so every sample gets its own little baggie unless it doesn't fit so these two got little baggies and this one got the big the big home <laughs> so this is del mar by day three fragrances and it does not leave my little travel it's my travel companion especially when i'm going into water activities so del mar we are just we got a big old dent in del mar as we've used this by day three fragrances definitely so here is i've laminated my with tape <laughs> my little label and um that is how i package up my the main fragrances so the one that i know i'm going to use the most then i usually do a bedtime scent so i took with me killian's princess if you already have fragrances that you know that you love and you have some samples lying around take them with you <laughs> that's what i do you know instead of decanting or taking my my other glass sprayers and whatnot this is a sample of sunset sunset hour by um uh, andromeda's moon sunset hour the dupe i decided to take this one along with me and I already refilled it. <laughs> I, I completely finished it on my trip to Vegas and then I refilled it for a recent trip. And I don't believe I used it on, oh yeah, I might. Anyways, point is, <laughs> everything gets its own baggie and then inside the Mylar bag. Then I put that in my travel, um, in my travel bag and it totally fits. Um, I also have this one for my hair. This is another staple that I have to travel with. Then um, I do my, my let's say, my two coordinating bath uh, sprays. So here I have my um, strawberries and champagne. Oh, sorry. 
and then I go ahead and put my little lotions as well in the bag so I've got my lotions I've got my face care in here I've got a little bit of makeup um, you know my fragrances of course and my body splash and that's it I normally do it a little more OCD a little more uh, what is the word organized <laughs> like this is driving me crazy right now but I'm just trying to show you guys what I do and that is it um, that's how I get myself ready to go um, I, I normally buy travel sizes and whatnot but it really they're too big to fit in here um, to, for me because I like variety I like to wear you know different bedtime scent I like to wear different scents during the day um, that was it you guys I've gone on long enough <laughs> uh, I hope that this helps somebody in some form or fashion um, if you're getting ready to head out somewhere and you don't want to take full bottles on your trips okay very very interesting topic I feel <laughs> thank you guys so much for tuning in uh, for checking this out if you have any questions whatsoever uh, you let me know down below and I will definitely answer that for you now have a blessed rest of your day your night or your evening and you stay safe